Welcome to NorTube. Today we have a special book called The Tale of the Tiger Slippers. Should we begin? I live in the big house my father built and I love the barn around the garden. My friends are always curious about one thing. Thought, why is there a pair of raggedy slippers in the fantasy fountain? They ask, look how beautiful is this artwork. This is the story my father tells them. When I was a cub, I lived with my mother under the roots of the banyan tree. We were very poor and I helped as best I could. Mother saw how sharp, bone and stones hurt my foot pads when I worked. And she made me thick slippers. These slippers will protect and guide you, she said. And there is a room to grow. I was looking down at my new slippers when I saw a strip of light in the stream bank. It was silly clay that could be easily molded into shapes. I made bricks from the clay and built my mother a pretty house. When others saw it, they asked, could you build me a pretty house from your bricks? So I did. Years went by and the slippers seemed to guide me every step. I dug clay, made bricks, and built houses, towers, and bridges all over the land. Soon I had everything I could want and I built a grand house for my future bride. On my way wedding day, a great fast was planned. But as I weren't too great, on my wedding day, a great fest was planned. But as I went to greet my tiger bride, a crocodile poked his snot out of the stream. Look at those ragged slippers, he scoffed. What kind of elegant bridegroom are you with those old slips on your feet? I looked down at my Dependable slippers, they were dirty and worn from hard work. But at the croc's tons, I slipped them off and let them float away down the stream. Faster and faster, my slippers slipped in the current until they reached the village dam and stopped it off. The water rose, floating the banks until the elephants saw the problem. He unplugged the castaway slippers and brought them back to me. The tiger and I were settled in our home when a word came that Radio King would pass by our village. He needed a place to stay, so we read our finest rooms. A stroke sing, the activity fastened his bitty eye on my slippers. Scandal he cocked. The Reno King will be insulted by his host wearing the raggedy old slippers. I wanted to put my best foot forward for such a lofty guest. And he was about to arrive. I quickly removed the old slippers and tossed them over the wall. When the last goat in a great herd of goats felt the thump thump of my slippers falling from the sky. She bolted, then all of the goats scared it dragging into the houses, toppling watermelon cars, and sinking things in the panic. The furious goat herd brought back the slippers and demanded payment for damaged properties. In time, we celebrate the bride of our first tiger cub. Animals came from far and wide with best wishes from our new arrival. The moon gives 
In time, we celebrate the birth of our first Tiger Cub. Animals came from far and wide with the best wishes for our new arrival. The Mongols wished him playfulness. The Peacock wished for beauty. The Renos for strength. And the Elephant for wisdom. The Monkey thought at it. I wish the baby cub's father would never wear junky old slippers. The monkey had a good point. I tried again and again to lose the old slippers, but they always came back. Finally, I sent them by air to my old uncle who lived in a distant village. When my uncle saw the fried old slippers, worn out by hard work and sewn by his sister, he whipped with the pride. He packed a few things and set off to see us. I've carrying a gift, and inside were the slippers. I know you will always want to remember how far you have came and the good work you have done when you see these slippers, he said. How they show the years, he smiled. The next morning I was in the garden with my son. I'm back where I started from, I said. What am I going to do with these old slippers? My cop had the answer. 